let's find the x and y intercepts for this polynomial function. And unlike one of the previous examples, this is not in factored form. So your first task is to put it in factored form, and then we can find the x-intercepts. You cannot find x-intercepts until it's in factored form. So I know how to factor this uh, very quickly, and you should be fast at this too by now. But if, if you're not, you just may need more practice at uh, factoring polynomials. Uh, it'll come to you with time. So this is going to be some kind of x minus something and x plus something. And if you want to, you can use the big X if you're not ready to do these in your head. Where, remember, we take, um, how does the big X go? Oh, yeah. We take the middle term, negative 6, and we drop that down here. Okay, we take uh, the product of the first term and the last term, and we're going to put those up top. And we're asking what two numbers multiply to 9 but add to negative 6. So I think we've got a pretty good shot with negative 3 and negative 3, right? Negative 3 squared is 9, uh, added to itself, and it's negative 6. So these become x minus 3 and x minus 3. So this one only has one x-intercept. It has an x-intercept where x minus 3 equals 0. Or in other words, x equals 3 is the x-intercept for this function. So I would mark that right over here. Normally, you would expect a, a degree 2 polynomial to have two intercepts, but sometimes they don't. Now, with the y-intercept, that's really very easy. Um, since this is in standard form, that's our y-intercept. Okay, so we can just mark that one on here like that. And we haven't gone over yet how to draw the function connecting these two dots, but those are the most important parts of the graph, where it hits the, in the axes.